Hey YouTube, this video is primarily towards the Fujifilm user that uses Adobe Lightroom to process their image. So apparently I've been living under a rock and I didn't know that Adobe Lightroom doesn't understand and cannot process Fuji RAW images properly compared to Canon and Nikon. Long story short, something about uh, their uh, X-Trans sensor with the Fuji cameras and incompatibilities and things and algorithms that's a little bit different and how Adobe processes them all. So I've gone ahead and I installed a tool called Iridian X Transformer. I have the plugin installed into Adobe Lightroom and there's plenty of videos and resources out there on the web on how to install it. So I'll put everything in the description below. Uh, I'm just here to show you the differences with my own image that I took in uh, Japan. So I'm going to convert one image now to a DNG and I'm gonna let Iridian Transformer take care of that for me. It's gonna process the image. I'm gonna see another image show up in Adobe Lightroom once it's completed. And there we go. So what I'm gonna do here as well is I'm going to sync my changes on the original RAF file over to the DNG so that I can compare apples to apples. Okay, now let's go ahead and compare them side by side. So the left side is the image that is straight from the camera. The image on the right, the candidate, is the converted DNG file. And you can tell by the watermarks that uh, the tool left behind because I'm running in demo mode. Now, if we zoom in to a part of the image, let's say right here, you can clearly see that DNGs work very well with Adobe Lightroom. The image is much more sharper. The colors are actually more consistent than what I remember in real life compared to the image on the left, which looks a little bit more blurry. Uh, some of the detail is also gone off of the uh, tiles uh, compared to the right image. And overall, just a much more sharper and nicer image. Now if we zoom out and we look at some foliage, like this bush here, you can clearly see that, you know, the bush doesn't look like mush. And you can actually tell that this is a fence and it's not as blurry as the uh, uh, image on the left. The bricks on the wall, you can also see the details there. It's not completely washed out and lost. The detail is still there. Much, much sharper. If we look at something more higher contrast, like this building here, you can see on the windows that the image on the right, the converted DNG, the data is still preserved and it's showing much more clear than the one on the left. And, you know, I could probably go back into Lightroom, mask it, you know, do more work, but why do, you know, a couple more steps? Well, I just did two more steps, right? I just convert it and I just sync my changes. And, you know, it's apparent everywhere all over the image. If we go to the right side here, you can see that, you know, it's much more sharper. The colors are more consistent. Uh, detail is there, uh, especially the foliage, the branches here. You can see it's much more sharper. It looks like here it kind of disappears. And, you know, right now it almost looks like some sort of veggie. But... Uh, Anyways, if we look at the branch here, you can see it's slowly disappearing out to the sky in the middle of nowhere. Here, it's somewhat present. Same with this branch here. These branches, they're kind of gone. So, go ahead and install the Iridian X Transformer. Try it on your own images. I kind of wanted to show everybody, you know, uh, a comparison between the same image, but two different file formats and how Adobe Lightroom interprets them and how you can get some of that detail back. You know, if you shoot your images and you only post it online and you don't intend to print them, that's fine. You're not going to zoom in all the way anyways and you're probably going to convert it to a JPEG which is 72 DPI or something like that, which is fine. But if you plan on having it as wallpaper, as a high-def wallpaper, or you're planning on printing it in large format, 
I would highly recommend, you know, Irradiate Transformer. It's just two more steps on your workflow. It all ties it into Adobe Lightroom and it's easy to use. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you do, please subscribe and hopefully I can pump out more videos like this in the future. Thanks. Bye.